So what I'm going to do from here is go back and go to account and assign mappings. In the assign mapping dialog, we have the ability to take accounts from the left-hand side and move them across to the right-hand side, like our checking account should be a cash map number item. And we can move them all across this way. Now, there's a faster way. Because I brought the information in from QuickBooks, the ratio classes were automatically populated. So that allows me to go to Tools, Options, and Autofill. Under Tools, Options, Autofill, I have the ability to choose Auto Map, which will automatically map the chart of accounts based on the ratio class that was assigned and the descriptions of the accounts. Now, some of them didn't get mapped, so I may want to add another one, credit cards. I'm going to put that to Accounts Payable, and I can just double check to see if anything else was missed. I'll do that as well. And let's assume for a moment that all these are correct. So I'm going to verify them all at once by simply right-clicking, selecting the column, and checking it off. Now, there is one more thing I need to check under Account, Assign Mapping Numbers, and that is the net income account. So I want to make sure that my net income account does get assigned properly because that will keep everything in balance for me. Over to my net income map number, and OK. At this point, if I go back to Document Manager and look at my trial balance document properties, I can specify that I want to sort them by grouping. So it's, I've got account balances with group subtotals here. I'll just click OK and opening this up. It's now showing me the items in order that I would expect. So my cash items are first and so on. A lot of zero balances are showing here. If I go back to tools, options, and general, pardon me, documents, I can turn off the zero balances. And it will filter down to just the items that were brought in. Now again, this is my bad. I should have brought in the 2022 data. But the good news is I can always rerun this. And as I'm rerunning it, going back to Pro Hockey School and authorizing, actually, I didn't even have to rerun it. That was uh, on me because I could have just re-imported and chose the correct year that I wanted. So I'll let that finish anyways. OK. And close back into this file. Let's have a look at the import. And I'll go back to accounting software, but this time I'm going to bring in 2022. That's better. And you can see all the numbers that I was expecting the first time, but I just chose the wrong year. And it's updated to 2022. And the client information has come into my engagement properties as well on the import. Pro Hockey School, address, and other information that's associated with that. 